Okay, well, here we are with the Matchbox Hunter. This makes a T Mark 7, so a trainer variant, or an FGA Mark 9, which is down as an F6. Um, I don't know the Hunter particularly well. I know it's a fantastic aircraft. I adore the shape of it. It's one of those aircraft that absolutely looks like it's meant to be. Like, you know, it's, it, if it looks right, it flies right. It goes by that sort of mentality. Um, but yes, this builds too. I, I just by sheer dumb luck had two of these model kits lying around and uh, following my move to where I am now. And I thought, hey, what better thing to build than an aerobatic scene that I've never built for, which is the Blue Diamond. So I thought I'd give them a go. And turns out I, I've never built a Matchbox kit before, somehow. <laughs> uh, but this kit was actually reissued in the year of my birth, so in 1992, which was kind of a nice coincidence for me to do this as, uh, as on my birthday, actually. I did this live stream on my birthday. Uh, again, you can find me as Dasapexian on Twitch. And yeah, it's, it's, it, it was a really nice build, actually. It's a standard Matchbox affair with three different colours, so a light grey, a dark grey, and a green. Um, the it's sort of divided into different sections. It's actually really nice. I really like the matchbox boxings. That didn't really make sense, did it? But you know what I mean? Like, I think they just make sense. They're really, really good model kits. The, the pilots are great. The actual model looks great when it's assembled. They're quite easy to do as well. So it's definitely something you could do for um, newer model makers as well. The subject of these kits is say it's primarily the blue diamonds. Now, I can only find pictures of the actual aircraft in the single seat variant, but I'm assuming by this that they did actually fly the dual seat variant, the Mark 7, uh, at least at some point in their very short two year uh, span as the RAF's official display team as the Blue Diamonds. Now, as you can make a single seat variant as well, I figured why not kill two birds with one stone? I can do two aerobatic teams for this because another <laughs> display team. Uh, that did an infamous 22 loop, 22 loop, <laughs> 22 aircraft loop was the Black Arrows. And often you'll find pictures of uh, in black and white of the Blue Diamonds, and it'll be mistaken for the Black Arrows because the Blue Diamonds had 16 aircraft anyway <laughs> and it used to do a 16 aircraft loop in formations of 4, 4, 4, and 4. So that's wild, especially by modern day comparisons where 9 is viewed as a large display team. So it's absolutely incredible. The aircraft, as I say, are functionally the same. Uh, it's going to be a trainer variant, which is two seat, two seats, so you're sat side by side. Is that tandem? I think it's tandem, but you're sat side by side. So it's slightly wider. Now the matchbox one, you can see here, is actually really cool in how it does it. it. It pits the whole model together, but the no section you glue on. Um, and the little, what I'm going to call humpback, the bit that goes over the sort of the arch over the back of the cockpit, joining it to the fuselage, it gives you two for them as well. So you can really just choose whatever you want, and that, that's a really fantastic and efficient way of doing this. It means that they only had to build one, one moulding um, of this model kit. And they could sell it as whatever they wanted. They could sell it as a single seat, they could sell it as a dual seat, they could either remove the parts or just leave the parts in there. And it's not uncommon for that to happen in modeling anyway, but I really, really like this approach. And I really hope someone just re-releases this pressing because it's, it's a fantastic model kit. And I wholeheartedly think it's it's definitely one that you should have in your stash. Hunters are a very weird affair of modeling because even though it's such a prominent aircraft of British aviation that was still flying up until 2019 where unfortunately we had the Shoreham aircraft uh, air show incident but yeah we um we don't really have many model kits of it <laughs> now it looks like Airfix are going to release newer ones during the course of 2021 2022 because I know they're releasing I think a 148 scale one so hopefully that'll trickle down to a 170 second re remake as well the matchbox plastic I actually find quite good as well it feels malleable and soft but in a good way so it holds its form quite well but when you need to glue it it will fill in gaps by itself it seems quite a stretchy plastic uh probably by modern standards that's probably not great for a plastic but it's it worked well for the model kit <laughs> it, it reminds me very much of sort of modern hella releasings uh, i don't know whether it's because the plastic is thinner or if it's just whatever poly blend they use for the plastic 
um, but it, I genuinely found it actually quite a joy to work with, to be honest. Although there were some instances where I picked it up and the whole thing fell apart because it hadn't actually dried and I thought it had, that's my own fault rather than the actual model kit itself. <laughs> the the house and oh, this was a sore subject for me. So as I say, I got two kits for this, and I don't know if you really saw um, during the previous section of video, but. I spilled a whole glass, like my painting water that, you know, to clear my paintbrushes. I spilled that and that ruined one of the sets of the house, so the the actual decals would just not come off the paper anymore. Um, considering any part of it got wet, I think that that was the case anyway. I think they were already past their best. Another set were actually fine. I could use them, but unfortunately some of the paper would come off with the transfer. I've had this happen before. It basically went, as you can see me doing here, sort of just scrubbing off the the paper off the back of the transfer. It has meant that unfortunately, because you couldn't really see it until it was dry, some of my transfers have sort of a darker area and that's where there is blue paper on the back of the transfer. And it's unfortunate, but it is what it is, you know? I've, I've just sort of, I, it really annoyed me when I first saw it. It was right, I was like, God damn it, if only I'd known this beforehand. But actually now I look at it and I'm like, it's fine, you know, it adds to the quirkiness and charm of the model kit that I built. It, it is what it is. I, I am someone who is so careless with decals that, or decals, however you want to say it, that quite often I'll get one stuck to my hand and not realise and it'll be ruined. So I'm at least glad that I didn't do that with this model kit. Um, I did have one bit that got slightly ruined that I had to repaint over, which is on sort of the lightning bolt at the front of the aircraft. Um, luckily the white seemed to relatively match, so... I don't think it's super noticeable in the photos. You can definitely see it up close, but again, these are just going to sit on my shelf now and look pretty, so <laughs> it's absolutely fine for me. Um, and I'm sure someone who had a bit more skill or probably more as the word is patience could probably do this absolutely fine. This was more of a me issue than the actual model kit itself. In terms of recommending this kit, I would. If you want to build an interesting aerobatic team, then I absolutely would recommend this. Whether it's blue uh, diamonds or black arrows, you can build both from this kit realistically. You just won't have the serial number to put on the back of the aircraft if it's the black arrows, which I haven't got either. But I mean, for the price, um, it's it's great. You can't get the, uh, the, the markings for the blue diamonds that I can see anywhere else either. So looking at custom printed names is going to cost you a significant amount anyway. So I would recommend getting this kit, even if you're going to use the transfers with the Ravel um, boxing. I mean, you could still build a, a standard, you know, FGA or F6 even <laughs> from this kit in standard coming. So thank you and see you soon. Remember to like, comment and subscribe.